Hello and welcome back to my course on Google Certified Educator Level 1. As per my old sessions, uh, I have divided the entire exam module into four parts. So we are looking at the second part, that is module two. And today we are going to learn about Chrome Omni Search and Chrome extensions. So Chrome browser, we are all used to using a Chrome browser, but there is a keyword called as Omni Search or Omni Box. Now let's try and understand what exactly is an Omni Box. So when you click on a new tab, we are all used to typing in this bar, right? Now that's called an Omni Box. So for example, if you type convert kgs to grams, now out here, if you enter two kilograms, it immediately converts for you in this page itself. So similarly, if you type convert feet to inches, so the same way, everything opens up here. So Omni search is nothing but kind of a Google search for you, wherein you're directly typing in the address bar. So instead of typing the website name, you're actually typing the keyword. So when you type the keyword, it opens up all the web pages related to that keyword. So that is Omni search. Now let's try and understand what are Chrome extensions. So if you click on chrome.google.com, so visit chrome.google.com. So the first page which opens up gives you information on the Chrome browser, like it, it tells you to download a, a, you know, the latest version of the Chrome browser. But what we are going to do is we're going to click on extensions here. Now extensions are something which make your life easier. So you would have extensions for a, a plugin called as Zoom or you would have an extension, for example, translate. So what the extensions do is now in order to add this extension, you just need to click on this link, add to Chrome. Now I've already added it. So as soon as I click on add to Chrome, when I click on extensions here on the top right corner, I would magnify for you. So when you click on the extension here, so that's extension. Now, if I click on the extension translate, one click translate here. So what it tells you is to configure. So suppose we type a language like, let's type Arabic for, it, for example. Okay, so you've got three languages added. Now what we'll do is, we'll go on Google and type any text. Okay, now if you want to translate this text into any other language, so select the text, right click on it, Go on translate text into, so it basically the extension has added a shortcut menu here for you and you type Arabic here. So what the translate extension does is it opens up a new window and that's the, uh, that's the translation it's giving you. It gives you an audio also here itself. So in case you need to download one extension like uh, we would say like a Zoom extension, or let's uh, have a Google Meet grid extension. So that's the extension. You can click on it and read uh, a profile on that, or just click on add to Chrome. And then you need to click on add extension and that's your extension, which is up and running. Shortly, you will get a message that extension added and that's the extension loaded for you okay so that was google extensions now quickly we will see how the chrome bookmark on organizer work 
now we are all used to bookmarking the uh, the sites which you typically notice so what i'll do is i will add uh, so i'll show you uh, how you could organize your links properly via the bookmark manager now in order to activate the bookmark manager you will just type chrome chrome chrome's colon slash slash bookmarks okay Alternately, you can click on this three dots on the right hand side and go on the bookmark manager here and open it up. Now what the bookmark manager does is you can click here and search the bookmarks or you could click on the three dots there and arrange the bookmarks in folders. So if I click on add new folder, so you could name it as test, so that folder gets added. So you can just start adding new bookmarks under this folder now. So you'll just click on test, you'll add, and probably we'll add it to Google, uh, you know, bookmark itself. So, so it gives you an option of, uh, you know, dividing your links into different folders. You could also rename them by clicking on those three dots, clicking on edit and change the name to. So that's it. That was uh, the module to Chrome. So we covered up the Chrome Omni search and extensions here. And uh, Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next session.